seeded Edison as the number eight seed. It will be a great game tonight as Edison is very long inside and on the perimeter, so it's going to be important for Tino Hill to box out and rebound. Chino Hills wearing their white uniforms, starting it off with Leangelo Ball. Two points there, Edison in the black uniforms. Their goal was to hold the ball, get the ball inside, and they would do it right there. Dalen Potts, two points. Then a miss, coming over to Bishop Mency. He gets two points inside there. The trapping defense of Chino Hills gets beat. Potts inside. Two easy ones, then Bishop Mincy. Starting to fire away from three-point range. Nails that one there. This tip up by Mincy, and he had the hot hand on the night. Edison going to work inside. Lay in by DeMar Potts. Potts to Sam Watkins, and he hits a three-pointer, and it's 15-9 Chino Hills at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter action. Going inside is... Addison for two more points. And Chino Hills would go inside themselves. Namdi, two of his points on the night. Then Hicks with a three-pointer. Watkins, another three-pointer. The three-point shot was keeping Edison in this game. Chino Hills down low. Mark Williams, two more points. And then Namdi. Kicking it out to Lonzo Ball, and that ball is knocked away. Dylan Potts, Watkins, once again for three. And Edison, with the three-point shooting, their inside game was keeping it close here at the end of the first half. But then Lonzo Ball going to work, kicks it out. Casey Cyprian, three-pointer, 27-24. Chino Hills at the half. Second half action. Moving the ball around. Lonzo Ball kicking it out. Taking it himself. The floater. Then Bishop Mency on the kick out. He hits another three-pointer. Edison going inside. Making layups. Keeping the game close. And Chino Hills gets a little sloppy here. That's Potts. Finishes it on the other end. Once again, another turnover. And Potts is going to take it. He's going to pull up, look around, find his man down low. And that gets made with the three-pointer. Now it's 36-33. Chino Hills going to work. Bishop Mincy lays it in. 40-33 to at the end of the third quarter, fourth quarter action. Edison with the fast break. Two more points for them. And when Chino's need, Hills needed baskets, they would go inside. Mark Williams finishing once again. He had almost all layups on the night. Then Bishop Mency from the outside. Three more. And he was feeling it, especially on that wing. Watch this quick play. Casey Cyprian right over the top. Fender didn't even turn around. And a kick out to guess who? That's right. Bishop Mency once again. Another three-pointer. And then, he do it from the outside, and then he goes inside. Two more game high tonight for Bishop Mency. Casey Cyprian with the lay-in as Chino Hills started to pull away in the fourth quarter. Mency capping it off, a 62-49 to win.
play as sharp as I've usually seen the Cowboys play? Do you think maybe you're looking ahead to Tuesday's game? Or what's, what's your a little bit. I think a little bit. I think they knew that, uh, you know, this is a game that we can win, you know, and uh, we were not sharp, like you said, you know, defensively. We didn't rotate. We didn't do what we are supposed to do. We didn't play very, you know, hard the first quarter. Nor did we play, you know, with any play. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, that, that, those are the two factors that we're a little disappointed in. Um, in the CIS championship game versus Notre You know, I mean, once we're in our home gym, you know, we're shooting a lot better. You know, the only thing against modern day that I would have done different is, you know, set some more plays where we attack the basket a little bit better. And we were just kind of, we knew, you know, we were getting our certain shots. We were just waiting for these, you know, threes to fall. You know? So, uh, I mean, with this bad as we shot, we still, I mean, we still felt like we could have won the game. Bishop's always capable of that. And so, like we had talked about before, you know, guys, when, when we know certain players are shooting, our guys are unselfish enough to find them. And so, they did, our guys did a great job. They knew Bishop was capable of hitting those threes. He was wide open. But uh, what I loved about Bishop tonight was he attacked the basket, got off rebounds on both ends, and, you know, he played a full game. Coach, um, first of all, so sorry about the loss, but what do you tell your team? I mean, they really fought hard, so what do you tell them after a game like this? Well, you know, it's always tough when it's the last one. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when you get to the state playoffs, it's, you know, I guess all but uh, six teams are going to finish their season with a win, so it's tough. But, um, you know, we tell the seniors we had a great season. You know, we, we tell the seniors, uh, you know, uh, congratulations and you know, good luck in your you know, college uh, basketball careers or whatever it is you choose to do. And then uh, with our younger guys, we say, I'll see you in the weight room on Monday. So, <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, I get it. So, you know, but we're very proud of our kids this year. They, they fought hard, like you said, and, uh, you know, fortunately we couldn't put it together tonight. And Chino Hills is an unbelievable team, so, you know, uh, we're happy to be in that game with them. It's great hospitality by them, too. So do you, for this game, do you feel like there was anything maybe you could have done differently, or do you feel like, you know? Yeah, I think, you know, um, First time being in the state playoffs for this group of kids, um, I think we we're a little timid. You know, I think uh, we had too many turnovers, unforced turnovers. Um, we couldn't ever really get in a groove. Um, you know, as far as changing anything, I, I don't know. I think our game plan was pretty solid. We tried to move the ball around and put them to sleep a little bit and try to bore them a little bit. But, uh, um, you know, we just too many, too many unforced turnovers. Nice city score for Chino Hills was Bishop Minty. We spoke to him after the game. Tuesday for Tribune Sports on Crystal.